Hi everyone, back here for another video. Today, let's see how it is to use the Keychron K3 keyboard with the iPad. This is Keychron's ultra slim, low profile mechanical keyboard with a 75% layout and can be used with multiple devices. Is the Keychron K3 a good keyboard option for us iPad users? Well, let's have a look. I'm using here the 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 model, but I can also use this with my other iPads. I'm using here as well my iPad Air 3, quite an old iPad, but still works perfectly well. And I can use the Keychron K3 with it too. Connecting this to the iPad is straightforward. I press and hold on the function key and also one of the device switches here. Then the keyboard is paired to the iPad. And yes, I can connect the Keychron K3 to three devices. In most days I use this at work, so this is paired to my Windows laptop, but as we see here, it is very much usable with the iPad too. I can also use the Keychron K3 with the iPad without connecting it by Bluetooth. I tested it here where I disconnected and clicked on forget device and it still works with the iPad. Of course, I have to use an adapter to connect the USB-A to USB-C cable and also make sure to switch the button here at the back to cable instead of Bluetooth. The adapter I use also has the charging port. So in case it doesn't work for you, try connecting the charger. Another thing I should remember is to switch the key here at the back to make the keyboard work properly on iOS or Windows. What happens is that if I don't switch this button to iOS, the command key for example won't work as it should be on the iPad. Once I switch the button to iOS, then command key works as it should. So. It's not the same as my Logitech K380 keyboard where it can automatically switch and adapt to whatever operating system I switch to by just pressing one button. Anyway, let's move on. Now let's go over the function keys. Almost all of these are working on the iPad except the F3 and F4 keys. I'm guessing this will work on Macs, but I'm just guessing since I don't have a Mac to test it. So escape key works and F1 and F2 are for the brightness control. While F5 and F6 work, but not for the iPad, it's simply to adjust the keyboard backlights. And the next are the media controls like the skip, play, pause, mute, and volume controls. There's also a dedicated screenshot button here, and it works with the iPad like using the keyboard shortcut Command, Shift, and 4. Delete key is also here, unlike the Magic Keyboard, and also works like the shortcut Control plus D. And the backlight mode switch is here at the end, which, by the way, I'm not really a fan of since I always accidentally hit it and the backlights turn on without me realizing it. And if I don't realize it, then the battery drains faster. The backlights are so dim that I don't notice it when it's on, and I have to shoot this in the dark to make the backlights visible. That's how dim it is. As for the keys on the right side, this worked well when I used this on my Windows laptop. But on the iPad, it works on some apps only. Like here in Safari, page up and page down work while in Craft Docs app, Page Up and Home work the same way, while Page Down and End work the same way. To make it work like the normal Home and End key, I have to press on the Command key as well, so that will take the cursor to the beginning or the end of the line. 
in other apps like Google Docs, all of these buttons don't work. So use instead the keyboard shortcuts, command plus arrow up or down to move the cursor to the top or to the bottom of the document. Now let me do a typing test. I want to practice and test my typing speed and I think you might want to hear how the typing sounds like. And here I'm using the brown switches. I also have the red switches but I prefer typing on the browns. If you want to see the comparison of these two switches, I already made a video about it. Check it out. The link is in the description below. Now let's see the keyboard shortcuts I love to use on my iPad. I have several videos on keyboard shortcuts on different keyboards and most of it worked the same here on the Keychron K3. Here are my favorite shortcuts when typing. Command plus arrow left or right is to put the cursor at the beginning or end of the line. Command plus shift plus arrow left and right is to highlight a line. Option plus arrow left or right is to move the cursor in between the words. Add the shift key to it and it will highlight the word or the words. Option plus backspace is to delete the previous word. And command plus backspace when the cursor is at the end of the line is to delete the whole line. As for the multitasking keyboard shortcuts, not all of it work when using the Keychron K3. I discovered that the function key here works like the globe key that we have on the Magic Keyboard. Well, works kind of, but not really. Function plus N works and this is to go to the notification center of the iPad. Function plus C, it doesn't work. We'll see later how to make it work. Function plus the arrow up key is to go to the app switcher. Then I can use the arrow keys to choose an app and I hit enter to open it. Function plus A is to show the dock. And this also works. Again, I use the arrow keys to choose an app that I want to open. Function plus shift plus A is to show the app library. And again, arrow keys is the way to choose an app. Function plus the backslash key is to show and hide the slide over screen if you have anything open in the slide over. However, the other shortcuts like doing a split screen or a slide over screen, those are not working when using the function key on the Keychron K3. This is because the function plus the arrow left or right for this keyboard is to change or switch through the different RGB lights. That's why it doesn't recognize the multitasking shortcuts. I asked Keychron if there's a way around here and they replied that unfortunately, there's no way to change this key combination. So the only way to do a slide over screen or split screen or do this other multitasking shortcuts is to change one of the modifier keys. Here, I'm doing the same thing I did on my Logitech K380 and K480 both also don't have the dedicated globe key. So I changed the caps lock to work like the globe key. So now if I use the caps lock key, which I have modified to work like the globe, the multitasking shortcuts will work. But I can still use the function key for some of the multitasking shortcuts that we saw, but uh, we'll have to use the caps lock for the main multitasking shortcuts. Overall, the Keychron K3 is a good keyboard to use with the iPad, and in fact, it works well with my other devices too. I just really wish that all the multitasking shortcuts work, and it will be one of my preferred keyboards to use with my iPad, as this is one of my keyboards that I really love the typing experience, and this brown switches. It's really satisfying to type on. The build quality is really good as it should be since this is not a cheap keyboard. And lastly, even if I don't use the backlights that much, I would prefer to have brighter backlights because, well, what's a mechanical keyboard without its backlights, right? So that's it. Hope this video helps and thanks for watching.